Conquer Conditionals, Mastering Modals with Multiple Choice Questions. Hello learners! Welcome back to our series on Learning English Intermediate Grammar Conditionals. Today, we're diving deeper into Conditionals with Modals, and we're going to make it fun and interactive with multiple choice questions. Don't worry if you're a little rusty, we'll go through some quick revision first. Let's get started. Before we dive into the exercises, let's do a quick recap. Conditionals with modals are sentences that express hypothetical situations and the consequences that follow. They often contain if and a modal verb like could, would, might, etc. For example, if I had a lot of money, I could travel around the world. Modals in conditional sentences provide additional information about the mood or attitude of the speaker. They add nuance to the meaning. They could express things like possibility, probability, advice, ability, permission, or obligation. Here's another example. If you studied more, you might get better grades. Now, Let's put your knowledge to test with some multiple choice questions. 1. If we blank earlier, we wouldn't have missed the train. 2. A. Leave. 3. B. Would leave. 4. C. Had left. 5. D. Has left. 6. She blank have passed the exam if she had studied harder. 7. A. Can. 8. B. Could. 9. C. Would. 10. D. Might. Remember, there's no rush. Take your time to think about each answer. Let's go through the answers. 1. The correct answer is, C. Had left. This is an example of the third conditional where we talk about a situation in the past that didn't happen and its hypothetical result. 2. The correct answer is B. Could. Here, could is used to indicate a possibility that did not happen in the past. Key point. Pay attention to the context and the tense of the sentence when choosing the correct modal. Great job! Today, you've practiced and reinforced your understanding of conditionals with modals through multiple choice questions. Remember, practice is the key to mastering any language skill. Keep revisiting these exercises and you'll find yourself becoming more and more comfortable with conditionals. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you in our next lesson.